You see her? And him? And what about them? If you're thinking race, then we're on the same page. And this is where I come in. Okay, so what's your ethnicity? My ethnicity? Uh, black, African American. Race? I'd probably give something more sarcastic like human. That's my race. And what's your religious background? Uh, my household is predominantly Christian. Uh, uh, I'm neutral though. Well, I'll just share a little bit about my background. Uh, I'm of Caribbean descent. My grandpa's from Jamaica, and my grandma's from North Carolina. And what was your experience growing up in America? Where you grew up, whether it's the North, South? Uh, a good bit of both, good and bad. Uh, I had good experiences, of course. You know, growing up in my own neighborhood in Bronx or in Queens, wherever I grew up. It was positive culture and whatnot. Uh, but in North Carolina, I had kind of a bad experience. Uh, someone called the cops on me while I was in my own neighborhood, just walking around. But it was it was a predominantly white neighborhood. Yeah, that kind of hurt my feelings. <laughs> the first question is, like, what do you identify as? I identify as black. Your ethnicity. I'm Haitian American. Okay. <laughs> Um, and then that also goes with nationality. Some people would differentiate that, like ethnicity and nationality yeah. are not the same. It depends on what, again your background and where you're from. So, right. what is your nationality? My nationality is American. Okay. Was, you know, born and raised here. I grew up in East Flatbush. I think that everyone was very prideful of like who they were, which I was very like. I thought it was so cool. Uh, but also, I I, uh, I realized growing up there was a lot of prejudice within different groups. So like, I remember a girl in my class, I was like in the fourth grade, and she found out I was Haitian. She goes, oh, you Haitian? And I was like, yeah. Like, I was looking at her like, why she gave me that look? <laughs> like, okay. She goes, oh, like, do we all, like, did y'all come on, like, boats or whatever? And I'm just like, what, what? what? And I was just like, did you guys come on banana boats? And I'm like, what is she talking about? And, you know, I just remember, like, there was, like, this weird rivalry between, like, Jamaicans and Haitians. And I'm just like, it was just so weird to me as a kid because I was just like, we all Caribbean, we all eat each other's foods because we all grew up in the same neighborhood. I was just like, I really didn't get it. But those, that was definitely uh, an experience. The title that you choose to identify, why do you choose to just go by black, not African American, or because you were born in America, happen to be black, descendants of Africans. Yeah. Why the title just black? The reason why I do it is I know that hearing the word black makes a lot of people uncomfortable. So I like to just put it in people's face. So I'm like, what do you identify? Black. They just stare at you like, <laughs> I like doing that because I realized that like people were scared to claim their blackness. Oh yeah, I'm like part Puerto Rican. Next. <laughs> Girl, that kick in your head is not, you know? <laughs> so I, I really, because I, I want people to, to be uncomfortable. I want to be that intimidating to people. Even if it's other black people? Um, I guess. I know a lot of people who are Dominican and they don't, like, I think culturally they don't like to claim their blackness. So I like to sort of do that and just be like, yeah, I'm black. <laughs> yeah. But what was your religious background or is your religious background now? Um, my religious background, I've always been Catholic. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of Haitians are Catholic. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what my mom was brought up on and that's what she brought us up on. And I'm still Catholic. <laughs> what about those who may say uh, Catholicism is a religion of Europeans mm -hmm. and it was brought on to Haitians or Africans? Um, there's a lot of like dirt when it comes to like Catholicism. I am conflicted in certain ways. It's like half and half for me. So, um, I mean, it is what it is. I'm, I'm, I don't, just because I'm Catholic don't mean I'm accepting the poor decisions of white folks or what they did back in the day. But it's, still, it's still something I, I still think about and I'm still figuring out, um, honestly. Like, what's your background? That is Gambian from West Africa. My mom's from here. I identify as black because... 
feel like if I got more, like, actually, I, have, I think it has a lot to do with my upbringing. Like, uh, I wasn't raised around most of, like, my dad's family, mostly my moms that are just black. I identify, but how people think I should identify differs, mostly meaning my mom's family would, like, I'm African to them, that's how they think I should identify and how they identify for me, like, you're African, but my dad's family is like, you're not in a way, because my mom's American, that makes sense. So what's your ethnicity? And your nationality? Yeah. Oh. Black. Is there like a, a political rebuttal against a certain term like African American? Like why? I think the term black has more so to do with the culture. Definitely more so to do with the culture. Because we don't know that all black people came from Africa, but not all black people, or even not even African Americans, they don't identify as African in the sense that we all are part of the same culture from what we wear to how we do our hair to the music we listen to, you know? Yeah. And your religious background, if you don't mind me asking. I'm Are you a practicing Muslim? I am. I wouldn't say I'm the strictest, but I do pray. I do practice Ramadan. Um, I do cover my hair um, more so during Ramadan. And what's your mom's religious background? She's a Baptist. Mm -hmm. And how does she feel about you just adapting Islam? Um, she didn't have a problem with it because my dad is a practicing Muslim, always has been um, since she met him. My mom was actually, this was in 19, I feel like 96, 95, 96, and my mom was shot. My dad actually happened to be walking by, and that's how they met. He helped her. That is so romantic. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Loki, Lucha, the ghetto, the ghetto. <laughs> it's not Loki, Lucha, it's very Lucha. What is your hope for your future in America as a black identifying woman? To within the next three years go to law school, become a uh, criminal defense attorney to defend people who look like me. Even people who don't look like me, but I'm always rooting for my people. So my first question is, what is your race? My race is half Caucasian, half African American. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Part is from my mother's side, I'm from Michigan, Flint, Michigan, and my Caucasian side is from Virginia. Um, I have some French ancestry on my father's side, so he's the white one, my mom's the black one. I'm mixed race. I don't choose one. I always check the other box or the mixed right, the mixed race box. Has that ever caused you any conflict with other people when you say it out loud, or what has been your experience saying that you're mixed, you don't choose one or the other? People always ask which one do you prefer? Which one are you most like? And I always say I don't choose one. I feel like I am both because I'm raised. My parents divorced when I was three, so I live with my mother. And living with my black mother, I have my black heritage with me. And then I visited my father in the summer and the spring, and he visited me um, for like school events and plays. So I, I've always had the best of both worlds. You live with your mom for most of the time. Yeah dad for the summer, uh, the different subgroups that you would enter. Because I'm pretty sure there were different people in the neighborhood that you live with your mom, and then when you enter your dad's neighborhood, completely different. Especially in the Bronx. Um, because when I moved to the Bronx when I was 10, when I got to school, everybody called me white girl. And they called me Michael Jackson. I'm pale, and you know, I had this Midwestern accent they couldn't understand, and I sounded really country to them. So for them, I was just one thing. Unless, but you know it's interesting because I had a lot of Hispanic friends. A lot of my friends were Dominican and Puerto Rican and they always thought I was Hispanic when they met me. So it made them comfortable that I'm light skinned so they can relate. But what's if I was black and white? It's like I'm, I'm just a I'm white girl. It was, so it's weird. I think mixed kids, you know, every, every mixed child comes out differently. But my dad's genes were more dominant and that's just how I came out. It's pale. Um, yeah, it's always this deciding thing. I always had to choose a side. Um, and what's your nationality? Nationality? I'm 
very American. I'm a very free-spirited woman. I mean, my lifestyle has changed a lot. Like, I come from, like, my parents are very free-thinking people. They're 60s children. Like, they, they raised me not to see colors. People always think that you should, well, at least some black people I've met say that, you know, well, you're still from Africa, but I don't feel that way. Just because I'm African American doesn't mean that my ancestors are African. I have Native Americans too. I don't, I don't connect to that. Even though I do have my curiosity about Africa and my, my appreciation for our history, but you know, that's not what I call my nation. That'd be disrespectful. No, okay. <laughs> what would you, what's your identifying title that you go by or that you maneuver in this world by? Besides your name, obviously. I go by American. I'm a free woman and I have the freedom of my speech and what I wear and my beliefs. Yeah, I, I couldn't say anything else. But I do feel this like sense of, um, I do have to prove something. Like, I think America now is seen as a lot of consumers and a lot of violence. So I think there is a reaction to that. It's like, oh, you're American, you're from that part of the world where they, you know, still have shootings, you know, there's still racial turmoil. So I think I have to be strong when I say that, or else you know, we're going to see like the bad America, like the redneck American, I guess, you know. Like what's your belief uh, system? Um, I was raised Presbyterian. Mm -hmm. My grandfather was a Presbyterian reverend. I'm not a person that goes to church every Sunday, but I am someone who believes in a higher power in God. I like church with the hymn book and, you know, you sit down, you stand up, you sing the hymns. I like that traditional part. And where does that part come from? Is that from your dad's background or your mom? My dad's. Okay. My mom's is more of the Baptist. Okay. Like, you know, church, my church is so different. It's lively. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of band. There's a choir. Black people being one of the minorities in America constantly deal with the pain and narrative that is based on their looks. This of course does not allow individuals to walk in their truth. As we strive for a better tomorrow, it is important to give human beings an opportunity to prove themselves based on their actions, never their skin tone. Thank you.